Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Con Expo with Ville from Sandvik. Ville, what is really exciting today is we've just seen a presentation of the 10,000th CAT engine that Sandvik has used in all of your product range. Okay. And we've got one of your hero products here today, the Leopard. Tell me a little bit about this product. This is the Leopard DI650i, which is our uh, main product for the quarrying large quarries, mining, and especially for the pre-split applications in mining. So it's a DTH down the whole drilling rig, very powerful uh, pneumatic drills, very convenient automated package for the, to make it convenient for the driller and, and well-connected system for overall drilling applications. And drilling applications really important, you know, that you get that absolutely right when you're yeah. looking in a quarry applications mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. because it's, it's an expensive process, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the critical mm -hmm. thing as well with all these products yeah. is the time that it takes to do something, because when you're drilling and then you're blasting at a quarry, yeah. you need that rock because you need to actually have that throughput. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the design. We see at the heart is the cat engine here. And remember folks, 10,000 now used by Sandvik. Then it kind of looks like it's all built around the engine. So your engineers must be working together quite closely. Yeah, and it's right there for the serviceability. Because it's everything in the reach. Your service guys don't have to climb anywhere. The operators don't have to climb anywhere to do their daily checks. And with the Caterpillar, with its uh, great global presence, it makes it easier to get the spare parts and the support needed wherever. on Because the, these are running on all continents, except for the Antarctica right now. So it's, uh, it's definitely the global reach of the Caterpillar with our customers being present everywhere. It's a great combination. It is really quite interesting when you see where the products go and, and you know some of the applications are quite remote as well. Yep. So you talked to me earlier about the fact that not only have you developed that relationship with the dealers, you're now connecting your assets through telemetry system as well from Caterpillar. Yep. And so that allows you to monitor the health of the machine with the engine and then add that into all the other components as well, doesn't it? Correct, yeah. So we're getting all the engine data going over to the cloud when it's a connected machine and we have now over a thousand units which are already connected to our uh, online systems and the owner can see where the machine is located and they can also see with, if there are any warnings, any service coming up. So it's uh, giving a full picture, not just about the engine, but the whole machine, its hydraulics and the drilling measurements, like what's the actual performance on the field how much you have uptime, why the machine is down, if it's waiting for fluids or something else. So it's everything coming together with the modern uh, canvas system that provides that support from the all the way from the engine's control system to the rig's control system. And it's really interesting how technology is changing the world in which we're living in, in the equipment space, because what you've got is uh, your users will actually have other equipment as well, and they might be running CAT equipment, and it all comes then into the Vision Link fleet system that they can use as well. But the fundamentals of a machine like this are reliability and performance. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how you're keeping this machine highly reliable mm -hmm. and the performance mm -hmm. that you're getting out of the engine. Mm -hmm. Of course, the basics comes to a robust design and high quality manufacturing when we're building these. And then the highly automated control systems, they kind of guide the, the operators to run the equipment right. And so then we get also the really good control for like using the flushing air, because of course, main thing that this power unit is doing is producing hydraulic power for the functions, but then air for the flushing and, and uh, powering the hammer itself, which is the biggest uh, user of the energy. And that's where the fuel efficient engine and the engine control systems comes to help when you can actually have really good adjustability for the engine uh, loads. So you get exactly the power you need, but nothing more. Yeah. That gives you the fuel efficiency. Yeah, the, the optimization mm. of this particular unit is really important. And also, mm. you mentioned there about the control systems mm. so that you're actually looking at exactly where you're drilling. And, mm. and I guess, you know, machine control and things like that mm. are now being integrated into mm. machines like this as well, aren't they? Yeah, so it's all computerized control nowadays. There are no pilot hydraulic controls. It's all the reliability that you get from the uh, modern uh, computerized control system. So it's uh, all they're connected and talking to each other and thinking 
when you're running manual controls, it's all on your ears, your hands, where you get the controls. Yeah, yeah. And here, the, the computer, it's doing it multiple times each second, getting the finest details, what the machine is doing, if it needs anything to adjust to get the, the best performance. And the best performance comes with a complete integrated system that's all connected, that's all manufactured together, working together, the teams, to drill for the future, folks, that's more efficient, with less idle time, and therefore uptime and productivity guaranteed with the elements of all that data in one for you and your team to look after it. And of course, 10,000 cat engines down the line, there's been a certain amount of reliability already delivered to the customers. Great to meet you. Cheers. Thanks.